no window right now. Did you walk it? Well, I didn't want to leave it open, did I? Right, take it easy! Why'd you lock me in? Hey, Danny, put it down, will you, loon? You're an accident! No, you! I did Oh, thank God! Down, will you? Hey, hey, Come lay it off him! Call cool him, will you, Danny? It's me and you! You're an head case! What's going on? He locked me in that van and he thought it was funny. You were me, not him. I didn't know you were in there, did I? He put you up to it. Can't even do his own dirty work. Harry, didn't you hear it was an accident? It's mental. Get out of my sight. And if I catch you anywhere near my daughter, you'll think being locked in the van was a picnic. Hey, 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 hey. You pair of flaming hypocrites! Oh, what on earth are you talking about? I saw him sneaking out of our house this morning. You've been away for round two. Don't be so disgusting. You've tried everything. You can't get back at me for what happened, but this is pathetic. You're the pathetic one. You're making yourself look ridiculous. Get this door open now! Oh, what's all the racket about? <laughs> hey, no! No. What is going on with you and her, eh? Don't, Kevin! Come on, let's settle this man to no, man! Please. Don't you kid yourself, Sal! He's only doing this to get back at me for Molly. He'd never fancy you. Who do you think he is? Oh, we have a nice one! I saw you! Creeping out of her house first thing this morning! She's sneaking out yours now! You think I'm totally daft? Mum, Tyrone, that is so tacky! Yeah, yeah, yeah! I... Big one now, eh? No! Big no, one! Please don't! This ain't over! Hey. Whatever I do and whoever I choose to do it with, it's got nothing to do with you. Do you understand? <laughs> Ashamed of yourself! You don't even know what you're talking about. Hey, come on, Rose. This isn't helping anybody. Let a man get to work. She'll go to work. Come on. Kev, listen, right? I don't. Oh! <laughs> Kevin, no! Kevin! Oh, no! Do you want to get your own back? So do I! That's for the gravesite. You think we're quits after what you did? After what you did! Just stop it and leave him alone. Go away, Kevin. I haven't finished with you. Either of you. Oh, sorry, are you okay? Right. Full service in an MOT, was it, mate? No problem. We're done by three. Bay, do you want a beer or a pop? Uh, beer, defo. Ah! Rosie? What's your game, mate? Hey! Oof. What's going on? I've just caught this purse spying on Rosie! I'm not a perv! I just wanted to give it a quick once Don't over! You, what does that mean? What? The house, you idiot! My name's Phil Dickinson. Turton Insurance. At least I haven't been banging on all night about my girlfriend. That's because you haven't got a girlfriend. Right, well, I'm not in love then. I'm not in love. No, of course you're not. I am not in love. <laughs> well, is he in love or isn't he? Keep driving. Stand <laughs> by for a second now. Nice walk. Nice walk. Nice Where have you been then? Just round the corner. Yeah, we're looking for a couple of boys, mate. Your description. Yeah. Good-looking pair, are they? What did he call you? Well, we're not going to give you his names, are we? Because then you'd be putting all sorts on us. <sighs> Why is that? David Platt, Gary Windass. That race horse that went missing, they'll be having us for that. You are? Sure, yeah. Have you just shut your face? Don't have a domestic. BP oil spill, that were us. Look, we're not here to cause any trouble, okay? We've been through drinking, now we're going home. Yeah. These are not the droids you're looking for. <sighs> Move along. He's drunk, we're gonna go, come on. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Look, I'm just, I'm just trying to get past it. Did you say you could go? We don't need your permission. Any drugs on you? No. Do you mind taking that jacket off and emptying your pockets? I do, actually, yeah, it's cold. All right. I'll you down at the station where it's nice and warm. In the van. No chance. I beg your pardon. Look, we're going home. Get in. Will you just... No! No! I'm not asking you for assault. You don't have to say anything, but it may harm your defences. You didn't mention. We're pushing something you may later rely on. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Do you understand? I'm not. I'm not going in that van. Big mistake. I'm not going in that van! I'm not going in there. Please. Please. No! No! Please! 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 Salting a copper! You threw me in a van, Mum. Confined spaces, I can't do it, you know that. I kicked off. It might be a blessing in disguise, love. His life's off the rails. Who's gonna give him a job now? Oh, there's more to life than work. Oh, great! 
so it turns into you. Cheers. Structure, discipline, self-belief. Getting shot at by strangers. I don't understand you, woman. You worry yourself sick every second he's gone. So how does he cope on Sibby Street? Attacks Owen, attacks you, and gets the sack. All right, Mum, I don't need this. Well, I think that you do. You skip physio, lash out left, right and centre. And, and now, now you've assaulted a copper. You can't keep out of trouble. One, one trip, one trip into town and you're in court for assault. I thought I'd get a rap on the knuckles, all right? They've spent money on training me. I thought they'd be desperate to get me back out there. Yeah, well, they're not that desperate. I wanted to get drunk, all right? I needed a release. Oh, well, you've got your release now. Dishonourable discharge, isn't it? Oh, Anna, I don't want a saint for a son. A medal is a memento. Yeah, well, she does. <laughs> she wants to feel proud. What? You want me to come home in a box like Quinny? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Here, do I? Um, have you got an appointment, Walter? I wouldn't have thought so. Not letting me lose up public yet, are you? Kai, ab about the job. Look, I'm sorry if you've got your hopes up, sweetheart, but uh, there's no vacancy. Since when did Camilla call the shots? Tell her, David, you own the place, you decide who works here. Is that what he told you? David, put your foot down. You're in charge. No, of making the coffee. Otherwise, I am the boss. This place is called Audrey's for a reason, sweetheart. Kai, I'm... Um... Loser. Oh! Oh, no, you don't, you filthy two-time scumbag. Tina! Ooh, I'm back to uh, You think I'm blind? Blind and stupid. I know your game. Whispered sweet nothings in my ear. Just Did not see her the next. Shh! I don't know what you're talking about. I'll just tell her... Don't look at her to bail you out. Little Miss Butter won't melt. No one have got this. That's my phone. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's evidence I've seen the Texas lover boy. You're gonna have to choose, aren't you? Is it who you want or me? Hey. Oh. Hello, beautiful. Look, look, look. Come on, let's take advantage. No, it's too risky yeah. now. Neck curtains, remember? You don't believe how much I'm missing. Uh, no, I do, because I miss you more. That is not possible. Meet me in town tonight. Mm. Why not? We've got Emily Norris round for tea. What? You and Sheen? Yeah, make him see what a lovely girl she is. It is supposed to be a fake relationship, you know. Yeah, I know. I've got it all under control. I've got this ingenious plan. I've got a few. Oi, don't be like that. Uh, I'm not being like anything. Hey, we went into this with our eyes wide open. It was your idea in the first place. I know. I just want to spend time with you. Yeah, me too. Another night. Promise. Right, well, I better go. Pushing our looks standing near bickering. People will think we're still a couple. Oh dear, too late. Oh. I hope you're enjoying your bed that you made for yourself. And I hope you enjoy your, your little cosy tea with your wrinkly old mates and your home wrecker slapper of a fiance. Ah! <sighs> Suppose that's what you get for leaving your girlfriend high and dry and setting up home with a mate. Well, won't do her any harm to be the one who's dumped for a change. I heard that. Good. Yeah, Gail. I believe my um, sister is here. Not today, thank you. Yeah, I need to see her. Take your foot away. In your dreams. I think you should go away. And Did you away. not hear me? Oh, here she is. I want you to leave, Becky. Please. The Viper. Now then, you'll be careful of them fangs, Davy boy. They can kill you. Didn't you hear what Gail said? You sunk them into me good and proper, didn't you, girl? Starting with the day you grasped me up to that adoption panel. I don't need this. I had a really, really nice life around here. 
And you ruined it. You did that without me, darling. So... I should just kill you here and now. <laughs> I'd like to see you try. Look, I think you better go. Yeah, or I'm calling the police. Chill out. She's all talk. Back in Coronation Street in half an hour. So what are we going to do? Well, that's up to you, isn't it? Well, I'm going to need some help here. I can't do this by myself. I've told you how I feel. Okay. You're at least going to have to try and meet me halfway. Do what? Lie back and think of England? Oh, I'm going to change the record. Oh, I'm sorry that you don't like the song I'm playing. But he did attack me, in case you've forgotten. Really? What? That's not how Frank tells it. Are you saying I've been making all this up? No, I'm just saying there's two sides to every story. OK, well, there's my side. I went round to his house and he tried to force himself on me. Do us both a favour. Drop the little girl act. What? You went round to his house after lying to your boyfriend, dressed up to the nines, knowing Frank fancied you. And why? Because we needed his money. Yeah, and who sent me? You could have said no. I did say no, but you didn't listen. And neither did he. That's right. Blame everybody except yourself. Are you saying that I was asking for it? Oh, well, let's be honest, Maria. You really love playing the victim, don't you? Maria. Go to hell. Wait. We do. It's fine. It's not fine. She cooked me lunch. It's a rather hideous lunch, admittedly, but she cooked one all the same. But we need to get off sharpish. The maze if she's even up. We've really changed since we got here. And it's not very attractive. What's this in, eh? If you getting off without saying goodbye? No, of course not. So why are you being so vile with Mum then, eh? What did you say to her? Toddly. Look, Todd, you might not like it round here. You might think it's skanky, but how brilliant was man when you came out, eh? I didn't come out. I got out. Which is what I'm doing now. You were right. I'm going. Mum never slagged you off. Never told you where to go. All she ever said was it was fine, so what? I'm going nowhere. You need to sort this out. But what is this, eh? You'll listen to him, but you won't listen to me. What have I ever done to hack you off, eh? Nothing. Hey! Nothing. I'll go and see her. All right? I don't know enough about Sheen. I'll never pass a test. If, if they scratch beneath the surface for a second, we're finished. That's not true. We didn't get here by accident. I mean, even in the lie, you hadn't known her that long. They can't expect you to know everything. Just behave like it's all real. I mean, you heard what Tommy said. He never would have guessed. Yeah, well, you didn't have to tell him. No, I did have to tell him, because he walked right in. I mean, we're lucky we had him and not someone like Tracy. T, I am out of my debt. It's sink or swim. Yeah, yeah, well, I only know one stroke, and that's doggy paddle. You'll get through it, because you'll have to do it. I mean, if they cart you off... Yeah, well, if they cart me off, there's always Tommy Duckworth. Well, I love you two. I didn't get it. 
with what? Already, how do you know? They made us wait. Then they called people back if they made it through to the next round. Oh, it was like, it was like the X Factor. And needless to say, here I am. It's been two years, right? Two years since I qualified and you've sacrificed so much for me. But I'm sorry, I'm a complete failure. Yeah, well, join the club. Graham, what's that? I think you better sit down. You, you stupid idiot. You've ruined everything. Everything was fine before you stuck your nose in. Do you know what? Callie's right about you. You think you can go around bullying everyone, don't you? Yeah, well, do you know what? I'm glad you lost Max, because now he can be back where he belongs, with his real mum. With his real mum? She doesn't want him. That's why he was in care in the first place. She sold him once, and she'll sell him again, or swap him for a nice pair of shoes. Now you stay away from that little boy. No way. Carly's his mum, right? Not Becky. And now she's got me in a corner. We'll never give up on Max. I don't get this. Why are you trying to mess up my life? What's in it for you? Carly's my wife. Oh, you've only known her five minutes. You'll be divorced come Christmas. I don't think so, pal. By Christmas, we'll be a proper family. Me, Kylie, and little Max. Might even go to Euro Disney together. I'll send you a card. How are things? Well, you know, that's worse. You know what I think? You know what I think about what you think? Was it you? Excuse me? Becky Levy. Did you report us to social? <laughs> You know, Becky, people are dying while you were counting the 50s and 20s to keep their boys, and no, I didn't tell social services to take him. Sorry, she's just... Was it you? What? You done it. Steve, you really need to get her an interpreter or a carer or something. Non comprende? You told them we paid for Max, didn't you? <sighs> it was her. It was her. She phoned social services. Asking me on a Monday, I say yes. Asking me on a Tuesday. Stop winding her up, Barlow. Oh, oh, well, that's a very nice way to speak to the mother of your one and only child. Two kids! He had two kids, I tell you! Oh, I know it was you! Let's get in the back it. now! She did it! She did it! Look, look, look at that smog moss! But where's she <laughs> proof? You're just making things ten times worse. <laughs> Hello! Are you coming out here? Go away, Betty! Or do I have to come in? Hello! No! What are you doing? Did you not realise what she's done? It, it, it was her. <coughs> no! Go! What's going on out there? Ken! It's Steve. Listen, I'm sorry. Becky, put that down. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Whoa! Becky, engage brain. You swing that and we will never get Max back. We will never see him again. Becky, just give it. Yes. 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 Oh, if you batter Tracy, no. Move. Steve, I don't want to call the police. Oh. I'll never have to. Get Tracy to do the dialing, Ken. She's never off the phone, that bitch! Dad! Keep leaving me upstairs! Amy! This is Becky McDonald. We've been tatty by to Max forever. Ah! Becky, you're insane! Yep! Becky! Now listen! I swear to you, it wasn't me! I'm innocent! Talk to the sledgehammer. Becky, <laughs> ah, oh, put it down! Oh, leave us! Ken, put it, it down! Tracy, leave my daughter alone! She has cost me my son! It wasn't me! Somebody made her believe me! Becky, look, you guys better stay with Amy. I've done nothing wrong. I swear on Amy's life that I never made that phone call. You swear on anything. I swear on Amy's life and happiness! That little girl will be happy as Larry once you're six feet under. You know that's not true, Becky. Kenny, Leave. I have warned you. Get out! Get out! Leave us! Call the police! Oh, you just love that telephone, don't you? I bet you've got social services on speed dial. It wasn't me! You're a liar, Tracy! Now then, are we all feeling the fear, Becky? I swear that it wasn't me! That 
means no. I'm innocent. That blue-eyed four-year-old is innocent. You know what? He only stopped wearing the bed seven weeks ago, didn't he, Stevie? He got an aeroplane, a comic book, and two extra stories. It wasn't me. What did you say when you finally got through to them? Hi, I'd like to report a kitty, please. He's loved, he's well looked after, and I'd like to blow his life apart. I said nothing because it wasn't me. Uh, <laughs> whatever! <laughs> because even if you fessed up now, I still have to blow you to death. It was me! Stop protecting her! It was me! I name his life! It was me. I made the phone call. Sunday night. Phone box across the road. I did it. I just wanted you to know, I am really sorry about what happened to you and Graham. It's your idea of a joke. What? Turn Japanese, what, you, you trying to have a dig about she in the night, yeah. Hey, don't have a go at me just because you got binned. You know, you're in trouble, don't you? You just can't accept it. Accept what? <laughs> you dim some, you lose some. <laughs> Woo! Hey, what do you think you're doing? Right, hey! right, 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 no, no. Right, 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 hey! right. Out! Oh, stop Come it! On, Did you see that? I was totally unprovoked with that. Well, I'm alright, thanks. What was all that about? Steve! See, she's winding me up and I'm having a really bad time in the minute. Well, that's your problem, not mine. Go on, go home. Alright, well, you're sacking me. No, but if you pull a stunt like that again, you're out of here. Till, come on, move it! No! I said, open it, or I'll cave your flaming head in! Give him the cash, Leanne! No! No, there's no way I'm opening this till! This is your last warning! <sighs> get off! Mm. Hey! Sod! Now get out! Go on! Well, you still can! All right, all right, I'm going! Are you all right? Never mind me, what about you? Here, I'm fine, as long as you're okay. Oh... Open for a quiet drink, but no chance of that in here, is it? I mean, with him. We work together, okay? You heard nothing I told you about him. Yes, Maria, I've heard. And what? You thought I was lying, did you? Because I'm telling you, Carla, everyone thinks that there's something going on between the pair This of you. is not a good time, okay? So if you could just back off, please. No, no, I think you're the one who needs to back off. Right, and you, you should listen to Maria. Right, this, this bloke's bad news. Don't push me, okay? Well, what? You, you're gonna push me back? Chris, don't please. push me, I said, okay? Just oh, 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 kick it off! Many I love, but a baby, a baby that you had and walked away from when you were younger than me. You've just lost a little respect for me, love. Maybe that was bound to happen. Eva, you were the lucky one. You're the one with all the memories. As far as I'm concerned, that is my whole childhood gone. You've wanted for nothing except the truth. You have been doted on all your life. Yeah, now we know why. Because yeah, I love you. Because you loved Leanne. That was and you had no other way of showing it. Did you suffer? Did you ever feel neglected? I do now. Now I know I was the runner-up. How dare you? How dare you feel sorry for yourself when that poor girl's had nothing? A useless lump of a father and, and a lying bitch for a mother. Hey, 
yeah, 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 come on. This is getting out of hand. Get off me! You're just as bad as she is. Don't burn Carly. Do nothing about this. Well, what are you sticking up for her for, then? Doormat! What I do is between me and your mother, and she's still your mother. She is the one that needs reminding. I've never hit her before. Just leave her. Just leave her. Congratulations are in order. Oh, news travels fast. Good news, yeah. The wives of Weatherfield will be dancing in the street. Well, if they spend more time on the marriage and less time gossiping, they'd have nothing to worry about with it. So when is the happy day then? Just so I know not to put it in my diary. Leanne, do we really have to do this? I'm just trying to prepare you, Carla. You're going to need something old. <laughs> well, you got that covered. Something new? Well, the groom's not a homicidal maniac. There's first. Something borrowed. Oh, well, if you're going to offer me your lucky dress, I think I'll pass this time. Oh, you won't need luck, darling. I mean, <laughs> it's your third time, isn't it? So let's just hope it's true what they say, for Frank's sake. Don't push it, Leah. I was going to buy you a spade as a wedding present. I mean, going on past form, you'll be burying him within a year. I am warning you, you best shut your mouth now. Oh, what? Hey, whoa, 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 that is enough, that's enough. What's going on? I was just congratulating your fiancé. You best get out of my face. Carla, right? Carla! Oh, don't you worry, love. I'm going. I'm just off to open a book on your marriage. Less than a year. Mm, even money. More than five. <laughs> a thousand to one. Try. Hey, hey. I believe congratulations are in order. Jenny told me your good news. Right. You've not stopped all day, have you? How do you mean? Your powwow with the governor. Yeah. Walls have ears. I just wanted to talk to her about having hope with me. Yeah, right. And the next thing you know, ta-da! You're being shipped in, and I'm being kicked out. I didn't know they were going to kick you out. Of course you didn't. Why would you? Look, Ruth, I'm really sorry if me getting a place means that you can't... Ah! Somebody grasp me no! up! No! You me! I said Somebody grasp me up! Get out! Four against one! Get out! Everyone hates a grass! This is over. Mummy. Get off me! Back up, ladies! She grabbed the Angry redhead at nine o'clock. Here, grass. How'd you like yourselves extreme makeover? I want a word with you. You talking to me? This stops now. Why? gonna run off and tell on me. Right. Back off or I'll rip her head off. I've got some news for you. Your mate Leon has been arrested and charged and locked up. You see, I've got mates on the outside too. And you just made a big mistake. Because right now, I feel like I could squeeze the life out of you. Now you stay away from me and my baby or I might just completely lose it and do something really bad. Nothing else. Why won't you listen to me? I don't believe you, and why should I? All you've done is lie to me so far. I have not. Telling me I was wonderful, I make you happy. It's lies, just lies. You did make me happy. Very happy, Frank. It just wasn't enough. Why? why? Because I didn't compare to him. Now I don't know what you're talking about. Lying again. Oh, just go, will you? Be honest with me, Carla. Then I'll go. I think you owe me that, eh? <sighs> okay. There is someone. See, I knew it. Who? It really doesn't matter. Let me guess. Ex Alki. Runs a bookies leather jacket. Same, isn't it? Isn't it? Here. Where? Here? In our bedroom? How many times? Oh, stop. Every it. time you had a meeting with a so called client, was he good? Did he make you cry out? Stop it! We didn't sleep together. I just can't get him out of my head. That's all. Now, please, will you just go? Because you asked me to tell you the truth, and I have done. Just go. I trusted you. I opened up to you like I never had with any other woman, and you... You were using me. What was it? Using me to make your boyfriend jealous. A smokescreen. 
for your sordid little affair. It's not true. And now you think you can just chuck me away? Job done. Okay, I want you to go now. do it. God. How touching. You raped the bride and then shed a little tear. Keep my mouth shut if I were you. Because you're in enough trouble as it is. Why is that? For helping Carla set me up. I've seen some brass necks in my time. Save it for the lawyers. They should lock you up. And they should throw away the key. For what? For giving her what she deserved. What did you just say? You're not jealous, are you, Peter? Yeah, I'm sick. Yeah, you're a bit jealous, aren't you? Oh. oh. GVH as well, eh? You're racking them up, Peter. You might fool the coppers, but you don't fool me. What's going on? <clears throat> Peter. Peter, look, do you want to know what really happened? Hey? Okay, okay, I'll tell you. All right? Carla. She likes it rough. So that's what I gave her. Come on! Come on, Come on! Come on! That's what he deserves. Don't what be are you stupid. Doing? Stop. Don't be stupid. Come on. Peter Barlow, I'm arresting you for assault. That's the bloke you should be arresting. You don't have to say anything, Not me. But it may the rapist. The rapist. Carla dumped him last night. She so he raped her. Anything you Go on, tell him, Frank. Tell him the truth. Come may on. be giving in evidence. Do you understand? Uh, perhaps Hayley might have more influence. Oh, yeah, I'll put her right. Yeah, you want the best machinist we have? Listen, you've gone to enough bother on my account. I'll find something else, won't I, eventually? Welcome home. Not the words that would spring to my mind. Nobody wants any aggro, Sally. We're just having a little drink for Fizz, and, and if you don't like it, maybe it's best if you just go somewhere else for a bit, eh? Uh, why should we go anywhere? Don't worry, Rosie. We're not going anywhere. We've done nothing wrong. We can drink where we like. Yeah, well, neither is Fizz. Why don't you just leave her alone? <laughs> Leave her alone. Thanks to your sister, Rosie was kidnapped twice and nearly killed. So if it's all the same to you, I won't be strolling over to shake a hand because I won't want the blood on it getting on my car. Right! Well, you listen oh, to me! You. I did not kill anyone, but when I was inside, I saw off the kind of people you cross the road to avoid, and I'll see you off when all it needs me! And you and all! Ladies, please, break it up now. Come on. Are you all right? I think you better go and call off somewhere else, love. I just want to be left in peace. Yeah, well, I think you might find that somewhere else. Yeah. Come on. Go to a hospital. I'm okay. No, you're not okay. Look, I'm really sorry. You've got to believe me. I didn't mean that. Get away from my God! Leave him alone! No, 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 no. Leon, will you take Ross while I go to the hospital? Of course I can. I want to come too. I want to be long, sweetheart. I promise. Oh, come on. It's going to be all right. I'll take you. I'll take you. Do you know why I love being a barmaid so much, eh? It's cause I can do this. <laughs> now, I think you better go, Matt. Uh, you're embarrassing yourself. It's lucky you're wearing a life jacket. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> what a drip. There you go. She came round to warn me about Christmas to not to accept the invitation. Look, this has done nothing wrong. This is all down to me. Don't make a scene, Carl. So, you've not been... No, of course not. No, mate, you've got the wrong end of the stick. Although the right end ain't great either. You can't keep a hold of your own woman. So you make a play for oh, mine. Oh, it's hard oh. to deny. I ought to knock you about this nose. Oh. Lift up. I'm not proud of it. Let go of him. Don't panic on me, yeah. Look, I made a mistake. I, I misjudged everything. Let him go. You're bad. Oh, Carl. No, fine. Fine, that's fair enough. Yes, you and me. This, this is the lie. I thought you knew me. <laughs> I trusted you. Oh, man, is there no one who won't let me down? Oh, I, I loved you. I loved you, Mother, you. my own mom. Don't! I am so sick of hearing people say that to me because it's never true. <laughs> the amount of times I have stuck up for you. I have, both of you. There ain't nothing I wouldn't have done for you and now when I need you the most you do this Becky, please no, please no. Oh, ow. Really? are you all right get away fine it's nothing are you all right you're Ellis? bleeding God, I'm sorry I didn't mean to push you in is this what it was like for Tracy no no it wasn't Royston yeah, perhaps you should just go and now Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> so was